that you identified. The words issued for taxation purposes are clearly marked in all those tax declarations. Is that correct? We, we object, Your Honor. <coughs> we, we, uh, What's the basis of the objection? The document, Your Honor, must be showed to the uh, witness, Your Honor, before he is made to respond. He, is, he was not shown the witness document. May, witness may answer. That's too technical. Go ahead. There is no word indicating issued for taxation purposes in the document, Your Honor. That's exactly my point, Your May Honor. May I confront the witness with the document? That's exactly my Your point, Your Honor. That's why you I may confront the witness. Proceed. Mr. Witness, I am showing to you Exhibit 152 of the Defense. And may I ask you to read the announcement marked important <coughs> in the document itself. Can you do that for me, please? Which document are you showing to the witness counsel? I just stated that it's Exhibit 152 of the Defense, Your Honor. And uh, what portion are you referring to? The important <coughs> announcement uh, inscribed on the document. W what, what portion? The announcement. Oh. In which case, Your Honor, the best evidence would be the document. It's well, already in the document, Your Honor. May I request the witness to please read, we, Your we, Honor? We had just, been... just, sir, allow, uh, allow the, the, the witness to read. It, it, is, it will never be altered. It's there already, anyway. Thank you. Yes, Your Honor. Important. Issued for taxation purposes and should not be considered as title to the property, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Witness. And this announcement that it is uh, the tax declaration is issued for taxation purposes only is true, not only uh, to the exhibit, the tax declaration that you read, but also to the other four tax declarations that you brought in court today. Is that correct? Uh, Your Honor, tax declaration bearing EB 019-14923 so also have a, a notification issued for taxation purposes. Yes, Your Honor. J just to expedite, Mr. Witness, I'd like you to please confirm that that announcement uh, could be found in all the tax declarations that you brought to court today. Yes, Your Honor. That's the form. Thank you. Yeah. Anything else? Yes, Your Honor. Now, with that admission, uh, Mr. Witness, that it is for taxation purposes only. I'd like you to please confirm that this document is not necessarily de determinative of the current fair market value or the acquisition cost of the property reflected therein. Is Obje that correct? Objection, Your Honor. That calls for an opinion, Your Honor. That is for the court to determine because the records are already, Your Honor, with the... Uh, the witness may answer. The value reflected in this tax declaration is not the actual current market value of the property. Correct. Not, not the acquisition not cost. Not the acquisition cost. Correct. Uh, and you say that, uh, Mr. Witness, because the values reflected in the tax declarations are lifted from a schedule of values that you prepare and which uh, is approved by your uh, local council. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. And you are always bound by this schedule of value. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Is there any exception to uh, your being bound by this schedule, Mr. Witness? No, Your Honor. We are bounded by the... No exception. Uh, I heard you a while ago say that you are familiar with the local government code. Is that correct? Some, maybe. You have cited the local government code. And I, and I will please direct no, you to... No, the question is, are you familiar with the government code? Witness. Not so much. Yeah. But you know that there is such a thing as a local government code. Yes, Your Honor. May I direct your attention, Mr. Witness, to sections 202 and 203 of the Local Government Code, which I respectfully request that you read for the record. 
Your Honor, this is a matter of judicial notice, provisions of the local government code. It will be taking uh, too much uh, the time let, of this court. Let, 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 like to read it? let the witness read it for the information of the public and of this court. Section 202, Declaration of Real Property by the Owner or Administrator. It shall be the duty of all persons, natural or juridical, owning or administering real property, including the improvements therein, within a city or municipality, or their duly authorized representative, to prepare or cause to be prepared and file with the provincial, city, or municipal assessor a sworn statement declaring the true value of their property, whether previously declared or undeclared, taxable or exempt, which shall be the current and fair market value of the property as determined by the declarant. Such declaration shall contain a description of the property sufficient in detail to enable the assessor or his deputy to identify the same for assessment purposes. The same declaration of real property herein referred, referred to shall be filed with the assessor's concern once every three years during the period from January 1st to June 30th, commencing with the calendar year 1992. Section 203, please. Section 203, duty of person acquiring real property or making improvement thereon. It shall, be, it shall also be the duty of any person or his authorized representative acquiring at any time real property in any municipality or city or making any improvement on real property to prepare or cost to be prepared and file with the provincial, city, or municipal assessor a sworn statement declaring the true value of subject property within 60 days after the acquisition of such property or upon completion or occupancy of the improvement whichever comes earlier. Do you confirm, Mr. Witness, that CJ Corona, insofar as Bellagio, and Bonifacio Ridge Spanish Bay Tower are concerned, never filed any sworn statement as to the actual value of these properties with your office. Objection, Your Honor. There is no basis. The witness, Your Honor, is here to testify on the records, on the tax declarations. May I explain, Your Honor? The, the witness, Your Honor, would be required to make a search All in right, his office you... before that answer can be made. Let, let the... The court will allow the counsel to explain the purpose of the question. Your Honor, uh, under sections 202 and 203 of the local government code, it shall be the duty of the owner to declare with the city assessor in a sworn statement the true value of the property. Our point, Your Honor, is... Our, our point, Your Honor, is the properties which were purchased by Respondent Chief Justice have different, amount, have different values in terms of acquisition cost and in terms of market value as reflected in the tax declarations. There being a discrepancy and the acquisition cost is substantially higher than the values marked in the tax declaration under the law that uh, I cited, Your Honor, it is the duty of the Chief Justice in a sworn statement to divulge the actual value of the property. I'm asking this witness, as the assessor of uh, Taguig City, if ever there was a sworn statement filed by the Chief Justice to the effect of divulging the true value of his properties. You may answer, Your, Your Honor, please. You may answer if you know. Your, Your Honor, please. Yes. May I just make a short response to that? Proceed. My problem with that, Your Honor, is it deals with the acquisition cost. In the first place, the witness, Your Honor, is not a party to the sale. He would not know what the acquisition but, cost uh, is. But the Mr. President is referring, hmm. is referring to the uh, mandate of the law. And that pertains to his function as an assessor. And he is being asked whether the uh, owner of the property complied with that requirement. Yes. Oh, you may answer. Your Honor, as of today, as of, 
I have no knowledge since I, my, the, this honorable uh, impeachment court owners only subpoena documents pertaining to tax declaration per se. Mr. President, the majority floor may we recognize the son of the author of the local government code, Senator Coco Pimentel, uh, to uh, enlighten the gentleman on the floor? Uh, the gentleman from Ms. Thank Oriental. you, uh, Mr. President. Just to be fair to the witness also, uh, and for the information of the uh, prosecution, uh, attorney, uh, please pay, play, uh, please uh, pay attention. <laughs> you, 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 you require the witness to read uh, sections two, uh, 202 and 203. That is correct, Your but Honor. But you also read two, section 204. Th that is correct, Your oh, Honor. Uh, two, two, 203. Uh, says that this is the duty of the person acquiring, but Section 204 says that if that if that person does not uh, discharge his duty, then it's the uh, assessor himself who will now make the the declaration so that they can complete the schedule of values. Correct, Your Honor. Uh -huh. But there is nothing which prevents the owner from uh, after a tax declaration is issued from divulging yes. the true cost, the true yes. value of this property. But, but my, uh, my point is, uh, to be fair, no, you, 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 ask him, you also ask him to read 204, because although 203 may, uses the word duty, it's not uh, such a big deal if the duty is not complied with, because two, 204 has the mechanism to correct the situation when the people do not discharge the, this particular duty. So, uh, may I have permission to uh, ask the witness to read into the record one, section 204? Uh, thank you. In compliance with the request of uh, Senator Judge Pimentel, Mr. Witness, can you please read into the record section 204 of the Local Government Code? Section 204. Declaration of real property by the assessor. When a person, natural or juridical, by whom real property is required to be declared under Section 202 hereof, refuses or fails for any reason to make such declaration within the time prescribed, the provincial, city, or municipal assessor shall himself declare the property in the name of the defaulting owner, if known or against an unknown owner, as the case may be and shall assess the property for taxation in accordance with this, with the provision of this title. No oath shall be required of a declaration thus may be made by the provincial city or municipal assessor. Right. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Again, let me ask you, Mr. Witness, was there or was there not any declaration made by C.J. Corona on the true value or the uh, actual value of the properties that he acquired uh, in your jurisdiction? Your Honor, please, <clears throat> the question will lack basis because not all the properties involved in the declaration mentioned, Your Honor, belongs to the Chief Justice, Your Honor. The other property belongs to Karina. How can the Chief Justice be made to account for that? I am go going there, Your Honor. Go over yeah. the property one by one. Uh, the, the presiding officer would like to ask this question. Uh, would the office of the city assessor of Taguig issue an assessment without the requir required declaration, uh, the re declaration required under the local government court? There are cases, Your Honor, when when the when the owner fails to declare his tax his property, Your Honor, and you make the declaration. Yes, Your Honor. But in all cases, a declaration must be made, whether by the owner or by the city assessor, as a basis for the issuance of an assessment of the property for the owner to pay the real estate tax. Yes, Your Honor. Correct? Yes, Your Honor. So in the once a, an uh, assessment uh, 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 is made, 
the assumption is that there was a proper declaration done for that per particular property. Yes, Your Honor. Right. We made our assessment based on the schedule of fair market value. Okay. Mm. Your Honor, may I, no, may I interrupt no, no, no. for a minute, Your Honor? Oh. I'd like to cite uh, the resolution adopting the rules of procedure on impeachment trials. Uh, rule 15, may I read? Witnesses shall be examined by one person on behalf of the party producing them and then cross-examined by one person on the other side. 